Well, I have a solar heater where I have 3,000 feet of this uh, half inch black pipe laid out in the sun to circulate water through it during the daytime. And then I also have this wood fired pool heater that we're building where we have these copper coils. I started with it on the outside and quickly learned that there's not nearly as much heat on the outside of the barrel as there is on the inside of the barrel. So we moved the copper to the inside and then obviously that worked much, much better. And I'm just kind of playing around with the different designs here as we go. Our property here is very heavily wooded. We have almost 25 acres of heavily wooded property to get trees and wood from. Fire's just starting, so it's a little extra smoky right now, but it's about uh, 40 feet away from the pool on the downwind side from our typical winds we get here. So the smoke shouldn't bother us in the pool at all. All right, so the water coming out of the pool here now. Very hot. Uh, it's got to be about 125 maybe. <laughs> maybe 130. <laughs> Way up there. It's too hot to touch, I can tell you that. I just had my hand in it and it's very hot. So that's the, the burn barrel wood fired pool heater. Way up there at Shit, come on. It's coming down now. Oh, that hose popping out. And then this one is the, the solar one, which is just the wire out in the sun, and that one's bringing in. I think it was heating it to 90. We're getting late in the day right now. So it's four o'clock, so it's a little bit less, so it's not quite 90. So it's hanging out around 85. But still, that's pretty impressive. Coming out of there. Added the oil drip to a copper pipe that runs back into the two into the barrel and then drips into the pan in there. So we got a really good fire going with that. And then we added another barrel there that has 100 feet of copper lining the outside, and that's just a regular burn barrel for us out here. So I added this uh, old oil cooler that I had. It just lays on top here. And just another way to add more heat to the water that's going through there. And the flames don't affect it. All the water keeps it cool, so it doesn't affect the solder on it or anything. Um, I've had it almost a month now, but uh, it works real well. The barrel's glowing red. <laughs> it's going away now. <laughs> I don't want to blow the thermometer up, but it's maxed out. <laughs> That's pretty good.
this little lock splitter from Harbor Freight. It works really well. It makes it a lot easier to chop wood. set up out here in the woods now a bunch of chert down so nothing can catch the ground on fire there and keep a buck, five gallon bucket of water out here just in case too it's uh it can just sit out here and keep the water going and it's kind of hidden away from the pool you can't really see it from here just getting the fire started now so it's a little bit smoky but the smoke will clear up as soon as it gets going good and hot So I'm just using this small little pump from Harbor Freight to circulate the water through there. It does 450 gallons an hour that that's circulating. Uh, and I just have it zip tied to the side of the pool there with the hose going in and out. Doesn't really affect anything. And then I got the solar, the solar one, same thing, same pump. It's over there on that side of the pool um, coming in. Well, we were able to get in the pool at 85 degrees in April. We had nights, winter nights that were in the 30s, 40s, and able to keep it keep it warm by having the solar cover on there and then running that wood fire heater overnight so we didn't lose the temperature and the family's been able to enjoy the pool. Um, so we're really gonna be able to extend the season and we've got plenty of wood supply laying around here. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done 